late 1990s, I wrote a book uh, called The New Deal at Work. It was about the decision companies in the U.S. were making to end lifetime employment and to start uh, laying off people and to hire from the outside. So what follows from that, the obvious question was, okay, well, how are they managing talent internally? How are they responding to this? So I went around to a lot of conferences at the time, early 2000s, uh, on this topic, but I didn't learn a thing from them. Uh, and they were mainly just rolling out the model from the 1950s about lifetime employment again. So I wasn't learning anything that actually addressed the problem. Um, but I discovered that my colleagues in the operations research department teach a class on supply chain management. And the class is really about trying to balance supply and demand inside companies. And this, of course, is exactly the same problem as uh, we're trying to get at with talent management, right? Getting the right people in the right place at the right time is exactly the supply chain management problem. So. I pretty much lifted everything from their course uh, on supply chain management and applied it to, to this. In the Great Recession, most of these problems went away, in, at least in the U.S., uh, because there was such a glut of talent. Um, the companies could hire whatever they want um, very cheaply. Um, they didn't have any problem hanging on to talent because no one wanted to quit. So uh, this was such an unusual situation that the problems that are typical more or less went away, right? If you had too many people, no problem. You could just hire, just lay them off. If you didn't have enough, you could just snap your fingers and people were lined up outside your door to do the work. So you could completely externalize uh, all of your talent needs. You could go to the market for everything and solve your problems, right? So temporarily, all those problems were solved. But that was an astonishingly unusual period, right? So I think it simply put the whole conversation on hold until we came out of that period. Now, one of the downsides of it, at least in the U.S., is that companies have come to believe that outside hiring is the solution to almost all their problems, right? So if you look at where the money is being spent in human resources broadly defined, you know, about 80% of it is spent on hiring. It's amazing, right? Um, when you think about all the opportunities to grow talent from within, we're doing none of that. We're just worried on hiring, right? Uh, and I think that is a hangover from the Great Recession when you could do everything with outside hiring. But now it's getting difficult. And now we have companies starting to complain. And all this talk about shortages of talent and shortages of skill is really just a reaction to the fact that you can't meet all your needs by hiring from the outside anymore.